Hi everyone. How are you? How are you doing? I hope that all of you are in a good health. And uh, for the PBKBSM students, uh, Dr. Shiva here. I'm uh, glad to uh, continue my uh, tutorial session with you. Um, since uh, we, we have done uh, consecutively uh, the sessions, for the most probably you may have your tut tutorial quiz uh, next week. Okay, next week most probably because I will decide, I already decided to give you a quiz as well for the, uh, you know, we begin with the uh, Fourier series first and later we will do the, uh, uh, what we call uh, PDE, partial differential equation. Okay, uh, today I will continue for the uh, next sessions, wave equation for the PDE and remember your assignment will be uh, uh, next week will be announced and I just uh, let you know uh, be prepared for assignment the assignment will cover Fourier series and uh, PDE therefore I need to make sure myself you know uh, finish the PDE with you and uh, there is a one more portion only to cover after wave equation I will cover the numerical once I cover the numerical then you are completely ready for your assignments okay your assignment and test Okay, now today I will cover with you a uh, wave equation for the PDE and uh, uh, especially the PDE uh, as you all know it looks very complex but uh, as, as far from my point of view I may say this is a kind of one time or two time uh, practice. Okay, you just practice, the steps will be very much similar. It won't be a too different or difficult as long as you can understand the steps very well. Okay, therefore, I let me introduce to you the logics of uh, wave equation. Okay, and uh, the solution method. Uh, once, as I say, you take a paper again, please copy, please copy, step by step, follow okay then try to understand each steps then you will able to solve the wave equation very very comfortably or conveniently okay okay now let me start with the uh, basic understanding what is wave equation wave equation normally is a concept of vibration of strings okay take it for example guitar okay the guitar is a kind of a very good example for the wave equation or you can take it any wave that uh, vibrating right when you make the guitar or any guitar strings or something make it vibrate when you make a vibration the vibration is taking place like this okay it's a two end point we are we are going to learn only a very limited you know kind of uh, model uh, which is we can see this is a two end point you can uh, and uh, the length is, uh, take it for example, the length is a 0 to the L, for example. And uh, you need to know certain technical term for that, okay, for the technical terms here. Uh, I hope that you can see, make it, I try to make it a little bit bigger, okay, at least you can uh, see the work a little bit, okay. Now, um, the U practically when we say is a displacement, okay, displacement, okay, which is basically A is uh, X to the L, you can see the displacement here, you can see this is a displacement, you can see this is a displacement, okay, the U is moving up and down, up and down, therefore we call it this as a displacement and um, T is equivalent to the time and uh, x equals to distance okay I think uh, I may have a problem okay t is a greater than 0 okay uh, okay with that uh, let me define to you ut this is the common uh, formula which I'm not going to go into too detail about this formula uh, what is this formula and why this formula and etc. But uh, uh, assume this 
is a uh, UTT okay for the UXX to the uh, this is a wave equation anyway okay the displacement acceleration of the displacement is equivalent to the okay the rate of change of that uh, distance you see therefore there are four boundary condition will be given boundary condition always will be used for the zero t okay it's a zero uh, displacement at the end of both end you can see this displacement here can you see any displacement here no right can you see this displacement is a zero that's that's what i wanted to say okay as the zero place t the displacement is zero can you see that is no no up okay you cannot see that any u vibrations here right at this point also is a fixed therefore u l t equals to zero try to understand the logic it's not simply remember the formulas or something okay at least if you can understand the logics of um, the design then you can model that very easily okay after that uh, you can say that uh, zero x is moving you know within this movement and there will be a four uh, you see boundary condition two and initial condition also will be two that is very important comparatively for the heat equation three okay uh, but for the uh, wave equation you will have four okay two boundary condition two initial condition what are they for the initial condition uh, u here x to the zero which it will give you x3 maybe i call a call this is uh, equation two this is equation three this is equation four uh, the another one is uh, equation uh, what is that uh, t okay t x zero to the g x okay what is this the idea of these two equations is okay is this is we call initial okay initial displacement displacement initial displacement okay you can see the t is a zero the initial displacement is uh, okay you are pulling for example you are pulling up here holding your hand okay it's the idea is something like this okay you imagine that at this point i pull the string i pull the string can you see i pull the string up like that and holding okay uh, this is a initial displacement when i try to pull the string up from here i try to pull it up okay this is the initial displacement this is what we call as a velocity velocity uh, of uh, of this displacement okay of displacement okay what it mean by that sometime we can take vibrating when it start vibration in the form of vibration right okay it's it's in the vibration form it start vibrated ready so already under vibration this one is you're holding no vibration yet okay you're holding the string and just let go when you let go then it start vibrate uh, this is under vibration it's okay you you can see it's uh, under vibration when it's under vibration uh, this is what we call as a velocity okay that that's why you can see ut ut why is a ut is a under velocity of displacement this is a initial displacement can you see the difference between these two okay therefore always you will get four okay you can see uh, four equations here uh, sorry four um, boundary uh, two initial condition two boundary condition that's very important for you to uh, remember okay now let let us go very quickly i'll show you first phase of this uh, u uh, xt always in order to solve you need to uh, use this t can i use a separation method yes why this is separable okay this is separable why is separable is a homogeneous linear homogeneous is not a linear nanomo okay this is a linear homogeneous and boundary condition has been given okay 
then you can see uh, 6 okay 6 in uh, number 1 okay 6 in 1 okay if I place the 6 in number 1 uh, I get a what I call uh, very quickly I'm trying to do that okay uh, D to T okay uh, D to T and K to T DT okay equals to uh, we get a 1 X um, mm, okay I'm trying to do that very fast the, therefore I, I didn't try that I, okay X is a DX2 uh, okay I just placed the, the, the equation <coughs> therefore it's uh, just what you get is something <coughs> oh something wrong why I get a T here let's wait huh? let me set 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 this properly <laughs> okay okay I, I just give you this U uh, okay U T T okay <coughs> here U T T is basically it's a T double double T you get a X okay that's what you get and uh, the the uh, what do you call K U X X you get the same okay therefore when you start placing that T okay D2 uh, here um, what do you call um, uh, okay um, X X equivalent to the K2 this is wrong already okay just I don't know maybe I very quickly I wanted to do it that okay this one is a U X X U X X means here uh, okay remember when I place this T actually I'm depends on the DT okay here yeah DT okay okay this is what I'm referring to huh? uh, this is correct anyway right yeah okay this is correct okay dx sorry in the beginning itself I uh, okay then here when you use uxx okay you have this prime x uh, t t okay t t therefore you will have here uh, what do you call uh, okay x X that means uh, okay I put this D2 DX2 okay and uh, uh, we have this DT right mm, okay yes is correct here okay D2 T K I bring it down K2 okay K2 T D2 T okay D2, sorry D T D D D okay and uh, you will have here 1 X uh, D2 X okay D X 2 okay uh, okay the, 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 the equation equal can be equated to the lambda okay assume can we assume lambda lambda equal to be this okay this is what we learned before therefore you will get a two formula here okay T very quick one uh, a cos uh, K P T B sine uh, K P T okay and for the X X I will have another one cos p x e uh, sine p x okay got it it's a very simple straightforward okay very straightforward okay we we will straight away we solve this problem we will have this okay now i give you uh, this equation i call it this equation is seven this equation is eight okay Mm.
less a bit uh, uh, okay it's look like a little bit mess but uh, okay <laughs> okay sorry I just as I say when I start derive I want to me to be a uh, more uh, flexible in the sense of explanation okay can you follow okay done okay now let let me go through this okay now you can see we're going to take a two the boundary condition you know we are going to take a boundary condition okay we, we're going to take a boundary condition here the boundary condition to u 0 t equals to 0 equals to u l t we're going to place this 2 and uh, 3 okay and uh, 3 in this equation okay in the equation 8 in equation 8 okay we're going to place that this in the equation 8 when you let's say when you start doing this this idea let let me show you this is very important huh? when i start writing this something you can write this equation as this x okay function is a zero okay equals to zero and this also can be written as xl and uh, t t okay you look at this too okay very important therefore when i start taking this and just start working on this zero and xl equals to zero definitely it cannot be changed right you are not changing anything therefore it cannot be zero therefore this is what we call it as therefore this one when you substitute inside the equation very very impressively okay very impressively you try to try and see when you try to place here and see okay you you place this x zero d cos p zero right okay therefore it's understood that the next one is e sine p zero is equals to zero okay therefore this one will disappear whole thing and very obviously you get d equals to zero okay can you see that okay okay now the similarly you can do that uh, you can prove uh, the next one is to prove to you how to get the e right now d is a zero ignore this one okay when you place this sign p l equals to zero you cannot say e not equals to zero right when e is not equals to zero definitely sign p l you know our intention is now to find p okay therefore from here we we can find we can identify the equation called p therefore the sine p l equals to zero okay sine equals to p l is a zero therefore we can conclude the p n is n pi l whereby n equals to zero one two and etc okay can you see that okay is easy right so far and you combine the equation 7 this this equation 7 here therefore now we get a new equation called very quickly i'll go to the the application of this this equation as uh, u uh, and xt you combine okay you can use this all combinations whereby d is disappear you have xn therefore you you must remember it's automatically become xn you know okay the xn ready okay xn is a e sine p is there ready okay pn okay pnl therefore the whole thing is a end now is xn ready okay now you combine this equation to the seven you get the equation call okay now you see you get a combination of this very fast we get a e e n sine p n x okay a cos k p n t okay plus 
B sine K P and T okay this will be equated to uh, okay for the uh, principle of superposition linear superposition okay linear superposition superposition based on that okay some of you may ask sir I don't get it now what exactly what you mean by linear superposition please you check I already taught you the theorem for this okay for the theorem for this uh, last semester therefore I, I cannot repeat it's combination of these several maybe n you know it can be one it can be a two and three all can be combined together okay we can combine together to make it a one equation okay therefore sine p and x whereby okay p and x here this e a is all we just standardized to f n cos k p n k p n t g n sine k p n t ah okay done okay okay this is the equation that we are looking forward right okay we have done this is the formula okay uh, I, I will let you know since this is an online class is easier for you to refer the formula no problem okay now you can see this formula very fast you can convert it into using this formula maybe I call it this formula as what this formula as uh, maybe, maybe 9 okay I call it this is a 9 okay now you see you introduce your initial condition here your initial condition here inside the number 9 okay I see in 9 that means in another term okay uh, another term uh, 4 and 5 4 and 5 in 9 okay in another condition what I'm trying to say is we are combining the 9 okay 4 and 5 in number 9 okay now this will give you when I combine this this will give you u to the x0 which is, is fx in this case infinite and equals to 1 f you know y is a 0 t is a 0 right t is a 0 sign disappear you will get fn only don't ask why fn huh? okay you will get a fn sign pnx only okay the cost become 1 okay therefore you get this clear okay again I repeat T once you place here T0, T0, this whole thing will disappear, G, Gn will disappear, cos become 1, Fn, this will appear like this, okay, done. Okay, now, what do you get here? This, to in order to find Fn, you need to use, okay, Fourier series, 2 over L, L to the 0, Fx, I place the Fx sign. P N X. Okay. Wow. Another formula done. Okay. We now we know how to find F N ready. Now our intention is to find G N. Once we found. Okay. The whole equation done. Okay. Therefore this is number N. Okay. What about the next one? In order to do the next one. You need to. What is your next term saying? U. Okay. U. X. Uh, x uh, t but we need to make it as a d u d t why d u d t uh, first we need to sorry d t why we need to change it d u d t okay come back to this formula again come back to this formula you see we wanted to find the velocity of the displacement okay earlier we found the initial displacement okay we can solve the initial displacement the coefficient for the initial displacement using Fourier series which is very straightforward but now we need to find the velocity here okay in order to find the velocity of uh, uh, initial uh, displacement here okay we need to use this 
and it's very straightforward again it's not that difficult again we're going to use only three you know t okay n equals to one sine don't disturb anything to do with the p n x here yeah? okay here only the change is this okay it will this is only the changes that you will monitor therefore the first thing you will get here okay very simple i try to make it very as simple as possible okay this h you will get a k p n f n a sign okay sign k p n t okay oh can i see yeah sorry okay. can you see that okay Okay, plus and K G N still same uh, K P N G N okay K P G N cos K P N T uh, can you see the whole equation or not yes okay T N yeah. okay done. Uh, can I now substitute? Can I substitute this with this? Okay, this is actually ut. Okay, the ut is uh, x0 gx. Okay, when I place 0 t equals to 0, can you see that? What you will get here? Same again, but this time we get this equation okay k p n okay g n okay and sine p n x that's it okay is there any difference that you see no very very straightforward okay very very straightforward okay can i find now g n can what is the method same as this okay pull this whole thing you see here fx right you bring the fx inside Okay, Fn out. Same, taking the whole thing out, Gx in. Therefore, K, okay, K, Pn, Gn, okay, 2 over L, okay, L to the 0, Gx pull in, sign, Pn, X, done. Okay, we have done. Now, Gn, later you can bring it down the K, Pn, yeah, no problem. I I don't want, I don't want to touch this for for the moment. Just, but you can. Can you find the Gn? Yes, you can find the Gn. Okay. Therefore, the second formula, which is, is a eleven. Okay. This is eleven. Okay. Can you follow or not? Can I? Uh? Uh, okay. This is simple. We have done. Okay. We have done. The wave equation for the complete one. Okay, now with this, uh, I wanted to give you a little bit theory on this. Okay, a little bit theory on this. Okay, now very important. This portion is very important. Okay, I think I will take a okay quick uh, because my battery is going to finish. Then I need to change, replace. Therefore, uh, I will start the theory. Uh, Okay, these two, I hope that is a first intro, you, you can take it as a first intro, then I change my battery, then uh, I continue with the theory bit, then with the example, it's a standard example I may say, okay, you just follow my style, I, I will guarantee to you, you can do the wave equation very comfortably, okay, uh, just follow the steps that I'm teaching, then later I'm going to give you uh, one example standard example standard you, you never run away okay you can use that sample that the uh, example then you can use for any any method of uh, uh, you know wave equation sol sol solving the wave equation it never run away from that okay uh, okay until then I'll uh, we take a simple break for a while then we continue okay <laughs>